in now to the women's 50 meter Ladies backstroke and, and this should be very very interesting because Pintu Nip is in this one as well along with Mario, Angel Otom and Brenda Larry. Lane 6, representing Singapore, Yip Pin Shu. Lip in lane number 6, another one who's already booked her place to Paris. So we'll be looking to try and use this as an exercise to be able to keep the engine ticking over. Of course, the Olympics lane will be in about 8 weeks time. Asia. Where everybody's Brenda looking for Brenda Larry, who we've seen in the 150 individual medley, the butterfly 50, the 100 meter breaststroke. Now she's going for the 50 meter backstroke. It's amazing that she is in so, so many of these different events. It's unbelievable what a competitor she is. Mayui from Japan, the S5 athlete, was sixth in the B final in the 100 meter freestyle but it's actually clocked 53.98 to get classified to go into this event. But the fastest time that we've had so far to enter this event has been put forwards by Angel Otom at 46.58. So we've got the two S5 athletes in the middle in lanes five and four. Renda Larry, an S4 athlete in lane three. And of course, Yip from Singapore is an S2 athlete. The swimmers went straight into a direct final this evening and all eyes on the world number one in lane number six. Been there, done it, won the medals. Just done gonna it. do it again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, we, we, there's so many times that we can talk about the amount of medals that she's won, the Olympics that she's been to and won medals, the, the sea, you know, the sea games, the ASEAN games, the Asian para games all of these but it's all about the here and now and again it's all about looking forwards to yet another test another challenge that will take place in a couple of months time over in france this is all to make sure that they are in tip top shape to go for gold at the olympics the para games which is just after the olympics <laughs> It's the same, but it's... It's, it's the same, same, but it's different. Same, same, but different. Exactly. <laughs> All the swimmers are starting in the water, but if you know Ping Siu, she's always doing backstroke. If you can see, the swimmers also utilize different body parts to hold on to whatever they can to start. It was a very long hold that was, wasn't it? So obviously the officials were not happy with what had happened, but Brenda Larry on the far side has gone out extremely quickly, as has Angel Otom, the S5 athlete in lane number four. Ayui is just there with Brenda Larry, and we could now start to see Yip Binti starting to make inroads and close down on Brenda Larry as well but it is going to be Angel Otom that will get the fastest time but again it's not about the timings we saw that just a few moments ago so the first touch will come from Angel Otom there it is that is going to be a time of 44.72 which is nearly two seconds quicker than what she posted to enter second up will be Mari Yui and you can see Yip and Brenda Larry are very, very close. And it looks as though it's going to be Yip that will take gold. It's another fantastic swim for her. No, she won't. That touch has been just a little bit out of time, does it? Well, we'll have a little look at that and we'll bring you the official scores and results momentarily. But it is looking like Angel Otom has won that one. Watch results up on the big screen. Congratulations. There you can see, very, very strong. Just using everything she could to get herself to that finish line. Angel Otter pushing all the way. 
and it is her that's just nipped it with 914 so again this is why we have to wait till the end of the race because there can be glitches in the system which means that things have to be updated and that means that yip will have to settle for the, the silver, silver. <laughs>